Hello, my name is Tony Beers, and this is Movie Grades. But yeah, oh yeah, the, I love I love the intro too. I thought it was great. Um, it set the tone. Exactly. Um, and and it was usually talking about the storyline. The storyline was good too. You know, this fissure opens up in the ocean, and basically it's like a portal from another world, and these monsters come up, yeah. and you know, I love the way they explain it because they mm -hmm. went through the whole thing, and you weren't lost. No. You know, you knew exactly what was going on right when the movie started. I mean, it's like sometimes you're like, mm -hmm. where are they going? Wait, wait a minute, they're just like Man of Steel was kind of like that for me. He jumped around, uh, yeah. boy, yeah. here. Now he's on the ship saving these people, and then he's floating in the ocean. Oh, then he's back a boy again. It, I, you, like I said, I didn't. You know, it wasn't like that for me. I, the, the whole time I was watching Pacific Rim, I was like, all right, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Like I told you, that's a good movie. Right. <laughs> you know, um, edge of your seat. Exactly. exactly. Well, there's two really, uh, talking about edge of seat, since we're doing spoilers, there's two really edge of seat moments for me. And that was one one time, uh, it was kind of towards the end, where they were battling one of these kaijus. And th I think this is around the time that they first bust, bust out the sword. Yeah. I and, know what you're talking about. And that went on for a long time and it, it, it just kept it, it just made you keep getting on the edge of the seat through throughout the whole fight because something new was happening yeah. every time like the, they bust out the swords and then the the kaiju uh, sprouts wings out of yeah, nowhere out of like, nowhere it's like, like where, where the hell did that come from exactly. I was thinking the same thing but I'm like they could fly too because I, I mean I wasn't expecting that it was, it was no, awesome no, it, it picks, them, picks them up out of the water and yeah. they go up what 50,000 feet or something and he pretty psh, high. just cuts them in that. space almost wasn't yeah because he well it was pretty close 50, yeah. about 50,000 feet I think they said it was great I mean I was totally shocked by that too I was like it's got wings <laughs> I mean I did the same thing and the, the second one that really got me was when they one of the kaijus was dead and then they find out it's pregnant it has a baby oh yeah that was <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere yeah too. that, that so, was shocking too like, wow <laughs> and then uh, and then uh, spo well, since we're getting the spoilers and then <laughs> you see Ron Perlman oh, with that baby <laughs> <laughs> and what? And he's like, oh, see, this thing's dead. And what happens? He just gets him. <laughs> he's so him. good, dude. I loved him so much in this movie. I mean, yeah. perfect Ron Perlman part. Smart ass, you know. <laughs> yeah. And 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 then the boots thing was killed. I, I laughed so hard. I see those boots he had on. Yeah. And then of course the secret scene at the end. There is a secret scene at the end. Yeah, stay till after stay after credit. credit. Well, not the whole, not the whole credits, but right. they, they they run for a little bit and then it shows the secret scene. And you'll know what we're talking about, the Ron Perlman thing. And <laughs> I love that scene, too. It was funny. I was rolling. Yeah. Where's my damn boots? <laughs> I, you or know my shoe or something, he says. There's kind of themes going out throughout the movie. And I, I thought that was, I caught maybe, and maybe I'm looking more into him than, than what it is. But he lost his shoe. And the girl, the little girl, lost her she, shoe too. She only too. had one shoe too. I, not, I just now <laughs> remember that. I yeah, cause cause didn't uh, the general have the other shoe? Yeah. Yeah, he kept it, didn't he? He kept that's, the little that's shoe. That's right. Yeah. And I didn't even put two into good good assumption, bud. I did. I didn't even think about that. There, there is kind of like a theme of twos throughout the whole movie. Mm -hmm. You need two pilots. And the the, the the Ye the Jaegers the two shoes the Ye <laughs> the Jaegers I, I was getting to that but the yeah. Jaegers have two brains yeah uh, just like just uh, there was two scientists you know, oh you mean the Kaid Kaiju had two Ka brains. yeah Kaiju had two that's two what I'm saying yeah. Kaiju had two brains it, it it just came up came up over and over again two 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 I, I again maybe I'm just seeing things but no I mean, you, you're spot on I yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even think about it that way. 
You totally caught that. I didn't catch that tone. And, no. you know, I don't, I don't know if they're trying to say something, but, you know, but when someone doesn't have a partner or is without somebody, it's like they're missing something. Like the girl's missing her shoe. You know, when, when he was, uh, lost his brother, he was, he was missing something. You need twos and, and it, it, and it also had a theme of like teamwork. You gotta stick together. together. You need two. You, you need two people to 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 fight this. You can't do it alone. And and, and with the countries, you know, you, we were all united. Team, team, united, we were all teaming up. You had yep. the Russians, the Americans, Japanese. the Japanese, the Chinese, all of us, all together. And I think that was the big message of the movie: is you is you can't fight a big enemy alone. You need help from your your one teammates. united front. I mean, and that's a good message to have today with the way things are. Yeah. I mean, I love that message in that movie. All oh, everybody put their what well, it even says in the intro. Everybody put everything aside for for to stop these creatures. Yeah. And I'm thinking, man, if they would be that easy, <laughs> yeah, things would be so good. But yeah, I, the twos thing, boy, you just blew my mind with that because I didn't even <laughs> think about it till now. You're right. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about that. But you're right. The, um, another thing is, uh, more spoilers. Uh, at the end, when you know they get down in the fissure or whatever, mm -hmm. and they use the the Jaeger as the bomb, mm -hmm. he ejects her first. Right. He wasn't worried about himself. He was worried about her. You know, and and that was a good message. Right. Right. And then, and, then, and the the uh, the general. He sacrificed himself. Self to make sure that they made the minute. Yeah, that was a good and, message. And, and the, the other, you know, the jerk off <laughs> yeah. guy who, who <laughs> redeems himself and, and becomes a hero by sacrificing himself too. A case of point, a friend of mine pointed this out um, that when the general did his thing, mm -hmm. it was like that movie Armageddon when Bruce Willis right sacrifices Bruce himself for everybody to did to, for them to live. Well, that again brings me back to uh, what I was saying about Independence Day. There's another Independence Day thing there too, because uh, Randy Quaid sacrificed himself because he flies up into the, the Russell ship. Case. Remember that name, Russell Case. Yeah, Independence Day. It was his character. Oh, I didn't remember his character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it, that's yeah, that's why a lot of themes remind me of of Independence yeah. Day. In and there. and uh, you know. And going on to that scene where he ejects her out first, and then all oh, hell breaks loose, and he gets out, but you don't know if he makes it or not because you know they have to put you on the edge. Yeah, right. And then what happens? He they float up to the thing. She saw, oh my God, where is he? Looking for him and everything, and then finds him, and lo and behold, oh he's not breathing. Well, it's because she's holding him too tight. Like yeah. And he's like, <laughs> I, like I can't breathe. You got. You know, that, I love that scene. I thought it was great. Yeah. So, yeah. the story was excellent. Yeah, and then another independence thing too is that you know that's how they defeated the uh, kaiju was with the with the nuclear bomb, just like Independence, independence Day. Independence Day, they had the, the bomb <laughs> up there. So yeah, you, well, you again, see some influence. There. Again, like we were talking, I said you got all these new things in there. I didn't mention Independence Day, but. And those were all great things. Right, I mean, right. if you combine them into one story, it's going to be a great story. Yeah, yeah. It had little elements of all those things that we talked about. Godzilla and Ultron and, mm -hmm. you know, the Robotech and, and Independence Day. and all. I mean, those were great, great shows, great movies. And you combine them into one. And, and, and they keep the theme the way they did. And it, it just flowed so nice all the way through. Man, I, I mean, I whoever wrote it and directed it, man, they, they had to... They did a great job. I mean, I think so. Yeah. Was it uh, Del Toro directed it? Uh, Guillermo Del Toro. Yeah. Man, he did a great job. It, you know, to be honest with you, it's a little cliche and everything, but it, but it, it works for me anyway. What's wrong with cliches? Yeah, yeah. You're comfortable with cliche. Cliches are is comfort food. You know, for, <laughs> for movies. It's that it's Twinkies like, that we got going yes, back. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it makes you feel good. Yeah, um, absolutely. So I, I'm going to try to wrap this up here. So. Give me your final thoughts. Well, uh, I love the movie. I think it was the best thing I've seen this summer so far. We haven't seen Wolverine and Thor and all of them yet, but um, 
Thor's coming out in the winter. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so far, uh, of all the movies I've seen this summer, this has been the best one. Um, as far as me giving it a grade, like Tony likes to give stuff grades, and uh, I'm kind of kinda along the theme with him, since this is all his. Uh, I'm giving it a solid A. I, I, I didn't give it an A+. Plus. I mean, it's hard to get an A+. Plus. But it's definitely a solid A for me. They hit, I like I said, they didn't hit a grand slam, but they almost did. Yeah, that, that's yeah. more like a three-run home run. <laughs> um, they, everything was great. Storyline was great. Plot was great. Acting was, like I said, there was a little corny spots. Mm -hmm. uh, but I overlooked that because, I mean, I'm kind of corny myself. So, But um, I, everything in the movie was excellent. I mean, they did such a great job on it. I can't say enough about it. Go out and see the movie. Even though we just spoiled some of it for you, it's still good to see. <laughs> see it twice. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great movie, and it's a good it's a good movie to take your kids to. Yeah. I think my daughter would enjoy it. I don't know for sure, but she's into the Hobbit and stuff, so um, she probably she would probably like this movie. And I'm gonna try to take her to see it. And uh, yeah, it's a good family movie. Enjoy. It. I mean, there is some cuss words and stuff, but you know, oh well. And it's, it's a little, it's a little violent. Uh, it's not, but it's you know it's a PG thirteen movie, so yeah. that's that's a good good guideline right there. So well, it wasn't as bad as Superman. I mean, <laughs> Superman. I mean, it's just know. too dark. Yeah, for my, my taste. I I agree, but this movie, the, and and like you were saying in your review, I, I like like I said I watched your review. The bright colors, man. I mean, they had, the city was lively and you know and like they got the, yeah they got the people down in the you know shelters and you know and the robots they had nice colors on like they all had themes like the the, the chinese guys were the prince of dynamo yeah. or yeah. they had like yeah. <laughs> whatever and and the russians had colors and i mean it was great i mean it was eye catching mm -hmm. the and and all that i mean the the guy got this right the director <laughs> got this right Colors, music, action, good storyline. Great movie. Go out and watch it. Yeah, you saw in my grade. I give it an A minus. Uh, he he's a little bit higher than mine, but um, so my name is Tony Beers. I'm Jason Case, and we'll see you next time. Toxic Pop has a new Facebook page. Like it to see pictures and keep informed about our upcoming events and videos. A link is in the description. Go to www.facebook.com slash ToxicPop1.